and thank you for coming to watch the second part of this two-part episode of Minecraft, a very cool game indeed. Last episode, we discovered that there is, in fact, evidence of the extra-universal being that kidnapped me and brought me to this world, and it's still watching. So, what else do we get done this episode? Let's check it out and see. Okay. Because I wanted an iron one, but we'll put the iron ones up there. So... The shovel. That's why I put that back there. And then pop these back in. And then you pop the wood here soon. Oh, wait. Bingo. It's it's a waste, I know. But there you go. Okay, I'm not actually going to grow anything anymore. Don't need those for right now. I'm going to keep chopping. We're going to put those away. Wooling feeding the sheepies need those okay bingo. let's actually momentarily replace that okay time for shearing first give me your wool give me your wool Ugh. and you all of you get out of my way love a pizza I got a fair amount of trees growing from all the saplings I tossed down as well. That's very cool. I need more wool. Give me wool. <laughs> oh, wow. This is like a, a an everlasting resource here or something. Come on. Oh, wait. Anybody else? Thank you. Oh, we are collecting wool by the bucket load. I didn't know that you could actually collect that much wool. These shears are kind of awesome. Okay, thank you, sheeps. I will leave you alone for a little while. Actually, I'm not going to leave you alone. Because guess what? Everybody got some bread because I need more critters. I don't really need the cows for this, but I want more sheeps. So I can get lots and lots of wool. There we go. Let's get just a little bit more wool. Not a lot more wool. Just a couple. A couple more harvests. Hey there, you. You got... All you sheep have goofy eyes like that? Huh. They do. Weird. Out of my way. Or the culling will begin now. You cannot shear a baby sheep. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing very good. In fact, for right now, not as much as I would think, but, well, I hope. I didn't know how much I was going to have. Didn't I put wool up in there? Lots of wool? Okay, I don't have as much as I thought I did. I'm going to have to grab more from our sheep here soon. Yay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm yaying for my apologies. I think it's just because I was putting wool down. Big old lots of wool on the ground. Soft and squishy. Can you imagine what it'd be like? This would feel probably pretty weird. I mean, isn't wool kind of scratchy? So, I don't know. I mean, like wool versus cotton. I don't know. I can't even remember now which is even warmer or supposed to be warmer. I don't know if I... I'm hopeless. <laughs> That's not true. That was not nearly as much as I had thought it would be. I mean, I'm still very, very impressed. But, oh. Well, I'm going to have more than I thought. Because this line is the line I draw the actual thing with dirt to put the pumpkins on. So, we do need dirt. So, we do need dirt. There we go. Dirt. Yeah, for now. I'm doing fine. Okay. We. So we got the skirt. And then we got the stairs. Now this is different-ish from the way that I normally build things. So this has to come up here because that's the corner because this would go here. Does that make sense? I hope so. And yes. No. Okay. We gotta do 
do this first. Yeah, I, I, it's gonna save wool. I mean, there's that. It's saving on me on, on wool for this construction here. Bingo. In fact, that one comes up too. Okay. This is looking good. We are starting to look sharp here. I like this a lot. I'm not worried about it being a different color. White for wool is fine. I mean, it's nice that I'm making a house out of you know, pumpkins and stuff in the first place instead of being a, in a muddy, stinking... Uh, they don't stink. I mean, I'm just trying to make dwarves sound bad. And once again, when I say dwarves, I don't mean all, like, real-life little people. I mean fantasy dwarves. Oh, I'm all out of them. Okay. Well, let's put the pumpkins down there. But it's, uh, I don't want to live in just a dirty muddy, you know, decoration-free uh, dwarf pit anymore. I want it to be a real home because always before I have just made them into... I keep wanting to say stinking, but that's, that's not true. I'm trying to insult the these non-existent game characters, a dwarf pit builder. And for some weird reason, I keep trying to make it sound like they smell bad. And that's that's actually kind of bothersome. I don't I don't like that. That seems to be a sudden go-to. That's not good. Okay, let's let them all get more wool. Just grow more wool. Okay. Come on, more wool. Oh, Thirty. Okay, I'm gonna take yours. Bingo. Thirty-six wool. That's pretty good. I like that. Oh, I need to put the rest of the stairs down, too. Oh, this is going to be nice. Even if wool is... Even if wool is scratchier than cotton, though. I mean, this would still be nice. Just nice to walk into, and you've got wool, soft wool, under your foot. I like that idea. Okay, let's put these stairs down. Things have turned out very strange in this world. I mean, the extra universal being that kidnapped me and brought me here has been demonstrating its power in some of the most frightening ways. I have to admit, I did not expect it to, to build something, and, or at least I hope that's a construction. I'd hate to think that was like a real eye or something. Ew! That really did not work out the way I had thought it was going to. So let's, let's, um, let's try this again. I was trying to make the kind of, you know, the... Okay, that worked. I just hadn't finished. I forgot how dynamic the, the quote-unquote stairs algorithm in Minecraft is when they make these things. Turns out good, because I like making the things like this so you don't have to, you know, stick to a specific place. You just walk on through. And then let's actually, we're going to make a door on each wall. And it's going to be a two-story building. So let's actually throw down just these pumpkins as well. We. <laughs> I don't know if I have any further pumpkins in my inventory. That's okay. Sun hasn't gone down yet, so. No, oh, excuse me. I ate food earlier, which is, to be admitted, something I don't always do. There are days I, all I eat is like a couple containers of yogurt, and then that's all I eat all day. Not by choice, largely just because I don't have enough money to buy enough food to eat. And so today, I actually had some... Uh, I tried to avoid that, not falling in. I ate some chili mixed with some uh, Chef Boyardee macaroni and cheese. Oh, well, that, that might be part of the reason. This side needs light too. 
And so what I was just trying to say is I've got you know, gas in my tummy that's occasionally escaping. If it's not part of it, it needs to be separate then. Good deal, good deal. Let's hit the torches on the other side then. As I bonk my head on the... Bonk... <sighs> bonk my head on the underside of this. I'm not being frustrated by the, the way the game is treating me. Okay, that one has to come up too, and that one, because it needs to be symmetrical. It has to be symmetrical, no matter what, at all costs, at forever and ever, always. Not true, luckily. Okay, we're just going to gather up these pumpkins here. I need to put some more torches around my house. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I forgot I have gone and pulled up all of the various torches to put the wool down. I do not want anything spawning in here. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we'll gather up a few more until the shelf. Until the shelf. You know, the shelf here. The shelf in my hand that I'm using to cut down these pumpkins. When that shelf breaks, then we'll, we'll head in catch a little shut eye and then come back out and, and start doing some more work. The axe didn't break and they're, the other ones are too far back. I'm not going to worry about those. We're good. Thumbs up. I don't know if I've made a switch to go out there for the door. I, If I have, I keep forgetting to use it. I feel bad about that. That's, let's take a look. No, there is no switch, so... I mean, there's no need to make a switch, but... I can't even remember how to do it. <clears throat> Let's go with, like, swoo... Swi... Oh, you don't make it with those, do you? Or you do... I can't remember how to make a... You know, a button. Not necessarily a switch, you know, a button. How do you make a button? How do you make a button? I forgot how to make a button. That was easy. I just made a button. Um, what do you use for a switch? I do have sticks. Okay, so it's like I can't remember how to make a switch. You know, a lever. Lever? Why is a boat still there? Lever. Lever. Oh! Okay. I just need a cobble, a cobbly stone there. I don't have any cobbly stone on me. Alright. <laughs> now I do. Oh, gravel. Good deal. Too bad you can't make them out of gravel. Huh? What, what was... Oh. Okay, so like we put a button there. Okay, thank you. And I can put like a switch there? No. And then I can put a switch like or lever there? Oh, and I have to walk through the bloody thing. Oh, and it's... You know, though... Get off there. I have to admit, I like that better. I have... Okay. There. Now it's working fine. So, bingo. When I go in, when I want to go in, I go boom. And then, then, then... For afterward, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm doing all this for no good reason. That does not help. Okay, we go out. You see, that's supposed to shut that when I walk through it. But I guess it can't because of the switch or the lever. That's fine, because as stated, I'm going to come here and do this first. So, 
First off, I have wood. So we're gonna need one, two, three, four. I don't need this many doors. But I'm I'm gonna put them there anyway and only make one. Because I actually need to make two. Because I didn't need that many, but I did need four of them. So bingo. I could make double doors. I, I I could make double doors. I mean, why wouldn't I? I can make double doors. Okay, just a moment here. I'm I'm going to need more doors. So all of a sudden, I went from making too many doors to not making enough doors. Oh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay, we need one more set of doors. So we need one. We need no more set of wood. Oh, bingo! All right, we can start getting the the uh, window set in place too. What am I doing? Doors. Okay, okay, okay. Things are falling right into place here all of a sudden for this this spot right here. Bingo. Okay, let's go set some more pumpkins down. I don't need you. I don't need you. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Oh, I am. It took me a moment to realize just how close I was and how well stuff was working out here, but good golly, Miss Molly. Now things are falling right into place. I am having a lot of trouble with my dentures and that they do not fit. And so they move around in my mouth, which is why I, I'm kind of hissing and slurring as I talk. And you have my sincere apologies. I can't afford to fix my, len my lenses, my dentures, because I can't even afford to like eat food most of the month. I can barely, I can afford to like pay my rent and nothing else. And it's not good. So, I need to get my dentures fixed before they break entirely, and then I have no way to eat. But at the same time, okay, we're going to make this level the floor. So I still have, oh, I need a decorative band right there. That's what's going to happen. There's going to be a decorative band of some material. I don't know what. We'll have to gather it. I, I mean, maybe likely just cobbling stone. And then it'll be a circle around the pumpkin house to show where the second story starts. And then we'll make a nice roof for the place. Okay, that was wrong. And then we'll make a nice roof. I mean, we're not going to get this done today. But it's nice that I had the full beginnings of my pumpkin house, finally. So I gotta take that one pumpkin out of there. That's wrong and bad. It's not bad, it's just wrong. It doesn't want it. Bingo. Oh, this is looking good. I like it. I like it. Like I said, put like a, if I get the dark, 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 full logs, and I use the dark full logs there. And then maybe oh, I could use the shaved wood to go through here. Not the shaved. I don't know what it's called, but you take the bark off and it's like the smooth wood. I don't even know how you do that right off the top of my head, but that is another good idea. Well, son of a gun, I would like to thank each and every one of you for having come along with me on this journey of exploration. I know very few of the people who started in the beginning watching, just from the beginning of the video are actually here at the end because the bulk of people, uh, and this is for everyone, not just me, uh, stop watching after about three minutes. So if you've made it this far, thank you so very much. It is appreciated to no end. I enjoy playing games like this a whole lot. And it is just good to know that there are at least some people out there <coughs> that enjoy watching, hopefully at least half as much. So there's that thing that's out there. And then there's my house that's coming together, my animal farm, my pumpkin farm, so I can continue making this. 
we have underneath here to do. I've got sugar. We're working. This is a good thing. So, until next time, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is a very good thing.